With the constant debate about global climate change, a time machine that could travel hundreds or thousands of years into the past and give us information about previous climates would be really handy. It just so happens that the University of Arkansas has such a machine. We, you know, use dendrochronology, tree ring dating, you know, to date the annual growth ring sequences from old trees. And we can date the trees because they are all imprinted with the same climatic history, the same sequence of drought year, wet year. And so the narrow rings and the fat rings kind of line up amongst all the trees in the forest. It's a super excellent dating method and we can cross synchronize the growth histories of thousands of trees, say in the Ozark Plateau, in a single climate province. If you're dealing with bristlecone pines, you can reconstruct climate back 4,000 years. And it's really remarkable to be able to extend the historical record back that far. Much like a time machine of the future, Staley and Wolf need cores to get into the past. Using a Swedish increment bore, they drill about halfway into a tree and extract a small core sample. The sample is small enough that its absence will not leave a lasting impression on the tree. Well, we got a solid core all the way to close to center of the tree. Mm -hmm. Can you tell? Let's see. Do we get tip? It doesn't look like it. Looks yeah. like it got a little bit hollow right in the middle. Yeah. We got certainly most of the rings. What's the growth rate look like? It looks uh, like it's a pretty slow growth rate back in here. And then I can't really tell on the sapwood. It's hard to make out the rings, but it looks like it becomes a little faster on the outer. Slow in the inside, yeah. more rapid growth once it achieved the canopy. Right. And then it's maybe started to slow down. After collecting 50 or 60 cores, Staley and Wolf return to the lab where they prepare and analyze the cores, extracting the age, growth history, and climate from the rings. It's just really astounding that these trees around here can tell us all that information about climate. If you want to place the modern era of anthropogenic climate change into a longer term perspective and try to answer the question, how unusual is the recent climate? How unusual are the recent droughts and heat waves that we're seeing in the central United States? Well, you have to consult the proxy record. And uh, there are tree rings are really one of the best proxies for growing season climate that we have. It can be exactly dated and they can be centuries to millennium long. And so that's the primary motivation for the scientific research that we conduct in the tree ring lab. As Staley and Wolf move into the future, their eyes and minds are set on the past. Using their time machine, they can travel back hundreds and thousands of years and tell us what the world used to be like.